All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol IDEX, Ideonomic Sync. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel, Invest for Tomorrow. To all the subscribers, welcome back. And as we jump into this chart, I do want every single investor to be aware that I have a ticker symbol that we talked about two weeks ago to reiterate on and touch base on its chart and more information on the potential moving forward on this ticker symbol towards the end of this video also there's been a lot of new investors and subscribers and viewers coming along the channel in the last two weeks and i want us to go ahead and touch base on it again so more investors are aware and also for the subscribers that may have overlooked it so stay tuned because this is definitely one you want to have on your watch list going into the year especially with what the chart is showing and the potential it's been showing us over time and there's so much more room going forward so here we are with idx we're going to talk more about that ticker symbol towards the end but right now idx is showing bullish movement what a run right we had such a narrow stretch yesterday and we talked about obviously the high up here at 473 and lower points to look at if things broke through the 50-day moving average and also support because this was in tug of war zone pretty close to it and here we are so every time we zoom out I like to look at it from this perspective because back in the times of last year leading into the end of the year and also the beginning of this year, we were seeing a behavior that was pretty similar every single time. It would spike up, pull down, and then just stay in a downward direction, obviously with the volatility of the ups and downs, but always hitting newer lows over time. We saw it here, we saw it here, and since this point, right? Right here at 193 and also this low down here of 165, 164, give or take. This stock has been in an upward trend, right? When you zoom out, you can see it's been bullish. And a lot of investors going into this year are feeling a lot more excited and bullish about IDEX because of their innovation and the sector this innovation is going to get a market share in. So there's a lot of potential moving forward and we're going to have to see how IDEX continues to roll out. But as of right now, bulls have been dominating and for the bulls to continue this type of momentum, they need to continue to break through resistance levels. So I want us to pay close attention to all this information as well in just a moment. So 521 is the current price and we have not seen these type of numbers in a while for IDEX or in a long time, better said. And I want to ask every single viewer and investor how do you feel about the charts reaction do you think it's getting overvalued do you think it's due for a consolidation or a pullback or do you think this is going to continue to run because there's so much room left here for idx on the upside so i look forward to seeing what your guys' thoughts are on this all right so the 50-day moving average is 462 as long as we're above it we're in bullish territory the moment we're below it we're in bearish territory our support level is 492, so it's a 30 cent difference. If support gets broken through, all of this from 492 to 462 is bullish territory, but we want to watch it very carefully to see how the bulls are reacting, if they can bring it back up, or are the bears tearing this one down fairly fast. It's going to be very important to watch the behavior and see how quickly is it moving downwards, or are the bulls quickly moving it back upwards, because... We're at 521 here, and for it to pull down to 492 and anywhere below that, that's a pretty big pullback. So we definitely want to watch the behavior carefully and see if the bulls try to reappear anywhere in this area. But the further down it goes, the harder it's going to become for the bulls to break through this resistance, which is the most important resistance coming into tomorrow and also next week if it does not get broken through by tomorrow. Because remember, tomorrow's the end of the week stocks tend to act a little different consolidate or have slight pullbacks so we want to watch it carefully so here we are with the resistance 532 if that gets broken through the bulls can continue this momentum pull further away from the 50-day moving average and they'll need to turn it into a support so they can work their way up to newer highs and new resistance levels i want to emphasize this the bulls need to break through 532 to continue the upward momentum and pull further away from the 50-day moving average to hit newer highs and new 
resistance levels. As always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watched this video. Stay tuned till the end because that ticker symbol that we're about to discuss is definitely one you have to have on your watch list if you believe in this sector and if you believe in the potential moving forward. So I definitely suggest staying tuned till the end because you won't want to miss having this one on your radar. Stay tuned. So for everyone that has stayed to this point in the video, the ticker symbol I'm about to share with you guys is one that we touched base on previously a couple weeks ago. We're going to look at its chart and how it's been reacting and also reiterate some information because there's been a lot of new subscribers that have probably missed this and also viewers and subscribers that may have overlooked it. Just trying to get all the information on obviously the charts that they were looking for and they didn't have time to stay towards the end. I highly suggest if you're coming across this part of the video today and it's your first time or you do it sometimes but not frequently enough because I do it every single day, I suggest staying till the end because there's a lot of information you won't want to miss. Now, yesterday's was a little bit longer than usual. I was trying to talk about different advice and different things on how I use charts and different parts of a stock to make a decision on why it might be something you want to add to your watch list. But the ticker symbol we're about to talk about is CLNE, Clean Energy Fuels Corporation. Now, this stock has so much room moving forward. We've talked about it. I mean, it's been growing. We've talked about the healthy consolidation. That's what each of these circles are. Obviously, the volatility of the market will always exist, but it's had its periods of consolidating and going to newer highs. And now we saw it kind of dip, right? After hitting a new high, we talked about it right here. I had circled here and I said, okay, we want to watch this. If it's going to pull down, you know, any lower, closer to $8, maybe seven, and then pull right back up. Well, that wasn't the case. It ran up right after, hit new highs, pulled back down, right? To around $10. And now we just ran back up again. So this is actually having trouble staying above $12 and staying around the $11 range. And then it falls back to 10 because we could see how it's been there since the beginning of January almost, right? And towards the end, starting February, it was back around the $10 mark. So it's been hanging around 10 and some change to 11 and some change. Now it's back up, it hit new highs, and we want to see this consolidate up here so that this can start to have some effect of staying and holding itself up above $12. And then it can break out to newer highs and new resistance levels for the next catalyst or good news. But when we look at this chart overall, right, all it's been doing is going up. And I've talked about the potential this has moving forward throughout the year. Now, this is in the clean energy fuels corporation sector, right? I mean, the name literally says it all. A lot of people focus on fuel cell. A lot of people focus on blink, right? A lot of people focus on plug power and SEB, right? All these different ones um, that are, you know, making these runs. But sometimes we're overlooking others that are running as well, where there's so much more room right beyond this upward trend for a stock that's such a small market cap, right? Only two billion. And it's already at $12 and some change. And as this company continues to grow, the stock will continue to grow as well as their profit margins, right? They finally became profitable in 2019. And for 2020, they've had some struggling. Okay. I'm not going to lie, but there is potential going into 2021 to receive some funding and so forth. And also as this becomes more of a norm and their innovation starts to be used as a regular type of system and way of using energy overall. So CLNE, you definitely want to have on your watch list. There's so much potential moving forward. Obviously, the volatility of the market will always exist. But when you look at this chart, it just keeps on pushing up to newer levels. And I can only imagine this continuing 
into the year and probably even the next coming years. So do your due diligence, do your research. I just wanted to touch base on this again. I look forward to seeing anyone's comments that has already watched this, the previous videos. And did you take a position? Did you do some research? And what did you find? And what's your understanding from what you found? So I look forward to hearing that from you guys. And for any first time viewers and investors, how do you feel about this chart and this company overall? Thank you guys always for watching. I'm not here to tell you guys to buy, sell, or hold any position on any stocks that we talk about here. I'm just here to enlighten you guys on information and opportunities that the market is showing. And you guys have to do your own due diligence and research to make your own rational decisions as investors. So thank you once again, and let's make some money.